What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing something a little fun. If you clicked on this video, it's because you saw I'm getting a chemical peel. For a really long time now, I've been very insecure about my skin. I've finally gotten it to a place of like contentment, or like, kind of contentment. I've controlled my acne pretty much. Like I had really bad cystic acne for a couple months. It just wasn't cute and I had to bust a move and do things to make sure that it goes away. I don't want to just like have no acne but have a bunch of acne scars. And I found out that like getting chemical peels is a really, really, really good way to get rid of your acne scars. You can do microneedling as well, but I'm just a little scared to do something like that. And I've had some friends that have gotten chemical peels before, so I feel like why not? do this so I found this place in Texas it was like 45 minutes away 30 minutes away which I mean is whatever everything's pretty far here but like why is it that like when rain falls everyone just comes a shitty ass driver and like everything takes so much longer it's so fucking annoying so I want to see like what this place is about I'm really interested because they do chemical peels that are like more natural and stuff like that it's still like very intense and like chemical peely but they don't peel over the course of like a week they slough off all the dead skin right then and there when they're with you so you don't have like a long process of like peeling and stuff like that which sounds kind of good to me because like what if I want to take like an Instagram photo or what if I want to film like a YouTube video as you guys know I like suck at filming YouTube videos but like what if I want to so I want to leave myself with the option that like I don't know like I'm not just like oh I can't film I can't take photos I have to like face in the shit out of them because my skin's peeling off so here we are today ladies and genitals getting a chemical peel pretty much I just want to get rid of my acne scars I'm sick of them like I want to be a fucking model okay like I'm trying to be like on the cover of fucking Vogue so without further ado let's go inside and get a fucking chemical peel as you can see I'm all undressed and naked you can see that my skin itself like the acne is not so prominent like the texture has changed so much since I started using the stuff that I'll tell you guys about in the other video because that's a whole other different routine I have scarring here and I have scarring here and that's where I really hate it like I look at myself like now and I'm like ew what the fuck this is not no model material what we're gonna do is work on all that stuff and like I said it's like all natural stuff less like harsh chemicals and less like gonna make you ugly later type B I'm really excited to see what we have in store I just want to show you guys what we're working with before that and then I can show you guys after so you guys can see me like glow and and, like be pretty and like the guy who's always wanted me to be so all right let's go we're looking at my skin right now we're gonna see what's exactly we have going on here because we gotta know what's the sitch basically i'm seeing the comedon comedon is the uh, blackhead but mm. they are under the skin you know mm. so when they get any type of uh, bacteria or anything like that then it will become a uh, like that the red spots so that's you know turning into a pimple so that's what's going on mm. to acne today i'm gonna do the peel but also so I'm gonna really clean up your nose area and then I'm also gonna hopefully treat this so that way we can resurface this yeah I really yeah. hate the like side cheek areas uh, that's where like most of my scarring happened because I don't think I show you the pictures but that's where I used to have like really really bad cystic uh, acne then I also see your skin even is kind of somewhat sensitive through certain areas right now yeah that's why it's a little bit you know red but okay we're gonna take care of this okay thank you all right wow I kind of look good in this lighting too like should I just start filming like this you guys and do you guys like my little head wrap I look cute right then I'm gonna use this Farming cleanser. Ooh. This has a AHA and BHA. Okay, and what do those do? This will ex help exfoliate uh, salicylic acid in it mm -hmm. to help bacteria. Uh -huh. And it also has all the fruits and, you know, fruits in here, fruit acids. So. Oh, okay. And then you can kind of form it up. Yeah, guys, I get chest acne too. I'm not perfect like most people. And then we use the fan brush, but these are natural fan brush too. They feel really good. Instead of using synthetic, you know. Mm -hmm. And then we use a Korean um, porcelain. Bowl. Fancy. Actually, you could leave this on. Longer you leave it on during the shower, it's better because it's gonna soak in and really deep cleanse your skin. Mm -hmm. So this is the cleanser. Mm -hmm. Okay. After you leave this on, you could even shave. You know, it's really nice. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. So right now we're using the vitamin C soothing hydra, and it's transderma delivery. It's an it exfoliates your skin immediately. It's the newest technology. So you can see all the like skin like coming off instantly, which is kind of awesome. I'm like, I'm gonna be pretty. Wow. The dead skin's just like peeling away. Mm -hmm. Now that's a chemical peel for you. Oh, that's kind of fun. And then she already put the peel itself on. Obviously, it tingles and stuff like that because it's doing something to your skin that's making it peel. So, not gonna feel too good, but beauty is pain. The like big chunks of it, like coming together because there's so much. That's crazy. You can see my forehead. Wow. <laughs> You're so brave for doing this. Like, this is so gross, but kind of awesome. Wow. So now we're gonna use this, like, thing. Oh, my skin looks so good. Face. 
these guys. Don't unsubscribe yet. Ew. Even after all that peel, after all that extraction, look at your skin. It's because of that US patented recovery ointment. Peels the skin immediately. My skin feels so good. See? Look, how look at me glow. And the amount of dead skin we got off was insane, you guys. But see, like, your forehead and feel it. Yeah, it feels so good. I wish you guys could... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I wish you guys could feel through the screen. Oh, my nose. So dainty. Wow, this is awesome. And then, you guys, I'm going to get a little back treatment because, believe it or not, I have acne on my back when I eat things I'm not supposed to, which I... All the time. I haven't really been doing anything to treat my back because it's just, like, easier to hide. I feel like I should probably start doing something to work on that, so we're going to do a little back treatment. I'm not going to show you guys my back because I'm a little too insecure for that. <laughs> just know the back is in progress and then one day I'll be buff and then I'll be able to like take like back muscle pictures and you guys are going to die so that's that. Hannah E. Soul went off. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like tomorrow and like the day after because obviously as time goes on there's more progression in your skin. This lady right here is a South Korean celebrity. Yeah. First of all that's awesome. Second of all she's 80 years old. <laughs> yeah I'll wait. I'll wait because you guys can't really say anything because she does not look 80 at all. And then oh yeah Jessica Simpson casual. She cleared up all of Jessica Simpson's acne so you already know what I'm about to do. Alright you guys so I just finished with the peel and they did like some extraction and stuff and my skin obviously looks kind of like tender but it's like gonna calm down and everything but it looks so good and it's so soft and like my pores are on zero right now it feels so good I can already see like just some improvement and it's like really awesome and I'm so excited because I'm getting more treatment right now Stacy <laughs> decided to pull up so I thought why not throw her in the vlog oh my God. I'm so happy you decided to stop by are you getting anything done today <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Hi! Fall. Give me a hug, give me a hug. I, I want to hug you all. I gotta give you all hugs. You guys are all awesome. You guys are all beautiful too. Like, you too. You guys don't even need anything for your skin. It has them over here like... It's so elegant. Look, it's like a house, but not a house. Hello? And then you have me, of course. But I'm not gonna be here if you come here necessarily, so I can't make any promises. Alright you guys, so this is my skin two days after the chemical peel. As you can see, it's still like pretty red in this area. Same on this side. But my skin is really dry, like right here. Yeah, just like my cheek areas. It's really dry. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not. The skin obviously isn't peeling because I got one of those ones where they like do it all right there. But I will say overall, I'm really happy with the results. Like I look in the mirror definitely for sure and look at, like, in the camera and I can see like fading and stuff like that. Especially when I look at the mirror. The camera's a little more high def and stuff like that. So it's kind of like, oh shit, he's kind of ugly. But like, I swear there's results. And like with the acne too, I don't know why, like this zit isn't like going away. I don't remember if she popped them or not. She did extractions like all over my nose and like all over my face, but I don't know if she like did like these ones manually. And I think she did and I don't know why they're not going away, but like not fun, not fresh. Also kind of rude. That's new. I don't know if it's like damaged from the chemicals. Like it was left on too long like right there or something like that. But I think it'll go away. It's fine. Overall, really happy with it. I recommend you guys do it as well. This is obviously something I'm gonna have to do over and over again to get like the perfect results that I want. Part of me wishes that I went and got like the chemical peel where the skin actually peels throughout the week because I feel like maybe I would have gotten more from that. But at the same time, I'm happy that I got the one I did because it was all natural ingredients that aren't gonna be like harsh on my skin later on and stuff like that and cause me to like age all uglyly. But also, like black doesn't crack, bitch. Like I feel like people with more melanin in their skin don't age as harshly as like others do is that science i don't fucking know i just feel like black don't crack never mind i don't know what i'm getting into this is just weird at this point i would recommend you guys do it it was only 150 bucks which is i think is pretty good i called around there are places that had them for, like 260 and stuff like that i didn't choose this one because it was the cheapest i just chose it because like the lady said it's not gonna peel throughout the week and it's like natural ingredients that aren't gonna be like really hard on your skin and stuff like that and i have more sensitive skin so i just thought like maybe i shouldn't really just like go full-fledged Hello, you want to be in my outro? Handy some. That is my handy some husband. I don't even know what I was talking about at this point. Like I said, overall, really happy. It's not the best. It's not the ugliest. I'm glad I got this. I'm gonna definitely gonna do it again. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you did not enjoy this video, give it a big hey. Give it a big. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you did not enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs down. That's kind of rude. Subscribe, turn on post notifications because those are really, really important. Follow all my social media. They'll be linked down below as always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Comment down below if you've had a chemical peel before and like what your experience was. And if this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, comment down below what else you want to see on my channel. I know this video wasn't super like funny and entertaining like my vlogs are crazy typically. I'm just filming whatever the fuck I want to film and I'm having fun while doing it. So I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.